Today I'm going to show you how to fix a ripped or broken neoprene wetsuit. So especially in the open cell style wetsuits, getting little nicks or rips in it is something that's not uncommon, especially if you know, you're not putting it on correctly. As you know, when you go to put on a wetsuit, you're going to want to not dig your fingernails into the wetsuit. As you can see here, somebody has put on this wetsuit and used their fingernails to take it on and off. So we have a few nicks in it, and so today we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to basically fix those in a very quick and easy manner. So to do that, you're gonna need Cressy wetsuit glue, a pair of gloves, a small stick, metal rod, a toothpick works well, is, and then a napkin to clean it up. So we're gonna put our gloves on here, so that way we don't get glue all over our hands. get our glue and to do this it does not take much so what we're gonna do is just get a little bit of glue onto the rod here and then what you're gonna do is open up the little tear and rub it around on the inside on the top and bottom if possible take a little bit more here and so now at this point what we're gonna do is you want to let this glue set like this for about a minute to a minute and a half and what that's gonna do is allow this glue to become tacky and more sticky and after that then we'll be able to serve it so at this point we're gonna wait and let that set up a little bit so now at this point, we have let the glue set a little bit and I'm gonna bring the wetsuit back to the, its normal, comfortable resting position. And I'm going to rest it down and push it from the backside to where you can see that it makes a nice seal. And you wanna hold this there for about 30 seconds to a minute. So at this point, um, the glue is set enough to where it holds the nick in place. I would still let it sit there for about three to five minutes to let the glue um, fully cure. And then you can put a little bit more on the outside if you want to really help seal it in place. It's not necessary. But once this sets in, you've got a ready to use wetsuit again.